somewhere. Break out money. Genie's being funny. Talking about the bungee jumping, flooding out the house. Weather's turned colder. Ashmina's on her shoulder. Just ask her about fashion. She knows what it's about. Wrapped in with the Baptist. Left brain got the shopping list. Genie's got a way to keep you laughing from the porch. Tony on the phone calls, kicking laundry down the hall. Dude, 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 now on Genie's back porch. Dude, 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 there on Genie's back porch. Sure. There we go. You're on. Can they hear me now, Patrick? They sure can. Hey, everybody. Have you ever seen a slobbier person that came on just for the fun of it? No, not for the fun of it. Because I'm here because I'm speaking and I can't shut up. I have on these glasses. All of you have noticed, noticed it. And, and you're right. I think I can see. I may take them off. But I've been wearing these glasses because my throat is hoarse and I'm trying to do something about that. So maybe I'll put them back on if y'all want to hear me better. If you tell me you were hearing me okay the other time, I would just do that. So we're plenty loud and everybody can hear us, Patrick? Uh, he's checking it outside. He's okay. gone outside to check everything. I think that means I've gone to the bathroom. He's been in here for 35 minutes. Tony's in another room. We're all staying away from each other. What is here? They can hear. Okay. Let me just tell you, this has been a discombobulated day. And if ever proves that I can keep a sense of humor about this all, today will prove it. We've had several days like this, but I don't, I'll have to put this on for my throat later. Now, we hope we can answer a lot of questions for you today because we've got a lot of things that are going on different. Um, this was not my choice for wear, but this was not my choice for a day. And during this next pop-up time, it's probably when my doctor that I've been with some of the day, but then I've been with others all day. But this, he will probably call me. And when he calls himself after I've been with him all day, he's got follow-up directions. And I know we're changing everything Monday and Tuesday. So, and I have a little surgery tomorrow. So <laughs> this got complicated because I had down on my calendar for Thursday just go get a regular COVID test to make sure you're okay before you enter this new realm, which makes sense to me. But I didn't have written down to do anything else at the doctor. And so, um, and he's hard to get. And when you get in, they're so nice and he's good. So when I was up and getting ready to go get COVID, I was dressed as a slob because you don't even get out of your car. You know, you can just get what you need and keep rolling. And so then at that point, they were saying, you're supposed to be at a certain doctor's now. And I said, now, I was told I was to do this today, and that was all. Well, there were three more doctors I was supposed to meet and have, what do you call them, infusions for something. I'm working on this throat heavy duty, y'all. And um, I said, well, in what order do I do these things? And they set up the order. And by the time I got home... <laughs> It was, I don't know, three o'clock. I don't know when. And then we got here and everybody that I've been working with by telephone all day was calling. So you can just imagine. And so then we're just deciding it was after three when I got home. And then I just I looked at the clock and I they're all calling and say, we're not doing the pop up. And I'm saying, why not? We were going to have it. Why not have it today? So all three people that helped with the pop-up, Tony and Patrick, just swung into action. So here we are. And I forgot, I was just still in another shirt. And I decided I'd take it. And, and we would put it on over what I had on and show y'all another shirt. And that shirt that I have on, I think it's, uh, oh, no, it's not an Auburn T-shirt. This T-shirt right here. Okay, Patrick, I took the glasses off because I, I think my 
My throat's had an overdose today. Yeah, well, it sounds good. It sounds good. Okay, I'm going to hold my shirt, pull this up over my head. Because Tony's two or this three This is rooms. not a part of my job description. I mean, well, it is today. <laughs> pull this thing over my head. I'm going to say it. You sing it. Help, I'm speaking and I can't shut up. So this morning, I decided to, when I got home, I ought to change that. And I jumped into Elon University. I'm on the trustees there. And they, this one's ever honor in basketball. It's one of, one of left brain's great loves, you know, oh, is basketball. Right. And so it didn't work at all. And so we just kept going through changing and changing. And I didn't realize I wound up with two, to tell you the truth. You, Auburn. Mm -hmm. They want to know if you're adding stripping to the act. I uh, know, I know. I don't need any more. It's in this act if, if they knew what was going on. And my like big material. foot that was as big as a small hog <laughs> <laughs> on Memorial Day when we woke up from my foot up to my thigh. I mean, you carried, you had to drag this. It was that bad. I took two trips. Took two trips. <laughs> <laughs> take in the good leg, take in the last leg. And so if I start off by telling you this, I will tell everybody what's happening with me in due time and at the correct time. I know some of you can about guess it, but don't be starting to talk about it on Facebook because, you know, hello, I love the shirt. I don't know which ones you love, but there they are. They gave out at NSA, National Speakers Association Convention. So I went to get one and they said, they're all gone in extra larges. And I said, do you have any mediums? And they said, yes, I bought all the mediums with intentions to have some extra large or larges. I put them on my table at the luncheon that day, didn't get them, hurried back downstairs, and they were gone. All the mediums in my bag were gone. So I, I still, I'll find them, and I didn't understand why they didn't keep making. Help, I'm speaking, and I can't. Help, I'm laughing, and I can't shut up. I think that's funny. I don't know why they didn't make those. But anyway, long story for looking like a slob. Things on my wrist. Yeah, yeah. You can you can cut this one off. That's too dangerous. But anyway, so this is the deal. In the morning, I'm on uh, during this show. We may get a call because, of course, doctors can't tell you exactly when they're gonna call. But if they call during this little pop up, I will leave. The, tell y'all that I'm leaving, and um, I may say to him. When he says, hello, this is Dr. So-and-so. Oh, Mr. President. And so y'all all be laughing where you are. But he's not that way at all. He's a nice person. So other than that, uh, Patrick will sing a song and um, or do something. It takes him five minutes to talk to me. But if it's afterwards or nearing the end, we'll give some prizes faster. We get Patrick. You can do the finger thing and do pride. What are you looking at? Are you on your computer? No, I'm just going for pictures. Uh, <laughs> okay, with your daddy and all of them too. Okay, so what I want to start off today is with a three prizes. And because you're now not over on this side, you're on there, I'm going to just start talking. Uh, rolling. Can you roll the roll the names, Patrick? Yeah. Okay, roll them. Let's see, let's just go for. Just start them at a show. I'm going to go right there. Okay, so what I'm not going to do is draw, and then we got a, a special idea for Saturday. Um, at your request, we try on Saturday. And this is, if this thing is rolling, Patrick, mm -hmm. these names are rolling because I, I don't want to look at them. Okay. I don't think anybody's going to accuse you of. Well, they're watching, so there you go. Oh, look at that. You got, I, love, I love that name. What? Where, oh, she went there. Well, that. now you've not made it possible for her to win, whatever the name was. Let's go ahead and pick right, One, <laughs> two, three, and here you go. And I think my fingernail is on. Who was it, Tony? Donna K. Miller. Are you sure? Yes. That was it a while ago? Positive. All right. Donna K. I'm assuming you've used two names. Donna Kay, will you please email Tony, T-O-N-I, at JeannieRobertson.com. Jeannie has no I. 
and tell her what you want because you can get all of the DVDs, uh, not all of the DVDs, a DVD of the nine DVDs. And I'll try to announce this just once. And then, um, then you'll get to choose between the book, which is going quite well. The audio book won't go till the end of the show. That's the one that Patrick and I did in the big room we had blocked off, Beaver's old bedroom. So we knew he wasn't coming back this year or next. He's 55. He ain't coming back, period. And, um, and so you got to let her know what you want. But more importantly, you have to tell her where to ship said item. You can get a left brain baseball cap autographed by me. Uh, uh, not not left brain, of course. Although one of you yesterday said, "Could left? Could you just put left brain too?" And well, sure, whatever. <laughs> and um, I just appreciate appreciate your interest. So we have all that kind of swag. So you do that, Donna. Okay. And here we go. Is it rolling again? Come here. All right, my hand is under here. It's going to come up here and let y'all see it. And then I'm going to come over and hit it. Patty Bliss. Me too. Hello, Jeannie. So good to see you. That was above her. Patty Bliss is watching the show. I don't know where she's from, but Patty, the same instructions go. Woo! Patty's so excited. Woo! And just, <laughs> she's, I can hear her. You did miss to turn on that button so I could see and hear them. Uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, you got it. So great. Sure now we're going to give time. one more right now. What? Just start it rolling again. There you go. Okay. I'm bringing my hand up here and I'm going to kind of go a little low. Am I on one name, Patrick? You're close to one. <laughs> okay. Mark Pound. Palm. Palm. I don't want to be in a pageant, but, I, <laughs> but I'm Charles Mark from Rockmore, Georgia, so it's not Mark Pam. He's entering you, Mark, Mark Palm, whom I think I, I know him. He's from Rockmont, Georgia, but he is saying he doesn't want to be in a pageant, but I'm Charles Mark. He has two names. Oh, That's why he said the pageant. The pageant. If you have two, two names, two so names. you can get a pageant. Oh. Like Norma Rose. Well, okay. So this does go to Mark. Park, you write and tell us where you want me to send your prize and to whom you want it autographed. And then say, I think I might have talked to you guys on, on the phone one night. And uh, you might be characters, as I remember it. Good for you. And I mean, I think you had to be in, in pageants. And um, so whatever. Get in touch with Tony at JeannieRobertson.com. Woo! I've never worked harder to give away uh, free prizes, but that'll work for me. We'll do that again during the pop-up, and uh, and we'll also uh, give the audio book. That's our most expensive item, and Hart Patrick gets five dollars off of each one of those. So we we has seven hours and so many minutes on it. Okay, we are off. Let me tell you something else, else about this. I'm feeling right old, but since where's the thing, the Tony two that you just gave me? I got it, I got it. So, you know, I'm sure it's everywhere, everywhere, but I'm of a certain age, and something hit me funny today, and Tony did not think it was this if funny. This is what I cannot do tonight. I don't know. I do not eat after midnight, the night before your procedure, no gum or candy after me to the way you know you had gum or candy it's in your hair <laughs> this next morning and you can drink clear water clear waters clear waters include water apple juice without pulp gatorade all of this then it goes down and says no smoking or e-cigarettes 24 hours i will I, I don't do that then it says do not use any chewable tobacco and i think she meant snuff products for at least six hours and all of the things. And then they tell me, don't wear this, don't wear that. We've all gone through this. This is out day surgery tomorrow. That means they put you under but it, until it continues to go. And then when it said this, get your hand ready to raise your hand if, if you remember this 
particular drug I'm not supposed to have tonight. Following recommendations from the cardiologist, pulmonologist, all of them, regarding aspirin, Coumadin, Plavix, Eliquis, if if Praxidea, anything, everybody everywhere has told us to stop one day. Stop all inflammatories, Advil, Aleve, Ibuprofen, Motrin, Naxprosin, Na Naps, Proxen, Naxprosin, or all aspirin products. You can take Tylenol tonight if you need it. Those, but you can't take aspirin products for any. This I think means when you're going under, or you may not take goody powders. Now I'm 77. I'll be 78 in uh, September. I remember goody powders, but I hadn't thought about goody powders in a long time. Tony, do you think my, th does they still have goody powders? Yes, they still sell them. Well, you're older than I am. I am. <laughs> you you can walk in any drugstore in any place. Uh, sir, you know, a car Probably place so. uh, and get a goodies powder. Yep. I get them all the time. You do not. Mm -hmm. They're fast. They're fast? Mm -hmm. And your daddy had, and your daddy took them, I bet. I probably still have some that my dad had. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So but then I, I said, but I don't remember seeing them in a long time or looking for them, Tony, but there was a little song about them. It was like, um, it wasn't like Dainty Biscuit Flower, but sort of. Dainty Biscuit Flower, da-da-da-da, da-da-da. And I've tried to fill, and I tried to look up um, just a few minutes ago. What, what, wasn't there a theme song for goodies powders? And is there still? Now, we've decided the best place to get this answer is from y'all. <laughs> but I remember there was a, a little black and white TV show on our black and white thing. And this was in the early 50s that people were taking it. And I can't remember the song. So if you know the little song um, that goes with Goody Power, I know they had this. Imagine how you feel if you had taken goodies. Name what about the BC? What? BC powder? Be, goody, goodies powders, there were a bunch of them, and one of them was a BC. Well, there's another brand called BC. Yeah, right. Then that's just the same there's power mm -hmm. in the powder, the power of BC, the power of BC. Can y'all hear him? <laughs> Come and say, just think, okay, so I have the power of BC confused with some kind of goodies powder. Well, there's, good, there's goodies power, powder, and there's BC powder. It all tastes the same. And the BC what is flower? there's power in the powder, the power of BC, the power of BC. I don't even remember that. I'm uh, so there, so I'm sorry to Goody X. I'm, the powerful goodies that you still have is Goody X. I guess. Do y'all know anything about this? I mean, if I could have this for the Saturday show, this would be wonderful to tell because I remember. They had another little song. Well, we'll find it for Saturday. Okay, well, then you can't eat it after. I, if you can hit, help me on that one, I would appreciate it. And don't think I've been at the, the, the foot doctor, the leg doctor Monday, and then I had an infusion of something on Tuesday that took longer. It took it by the time I left, it had been seven or eight hours. And then on Wednesday, I had another doctor. I don't even know where I'm in. Oh, they could get upset about that, couldn't they? If I said, I don't even remember y'all. I was sure I was with you. Know? And then th <laughs> Thursday happened today. And then I have um, outpatient surgery. And I get um, Monday. I have start all over with Monday and Tuesday. So so I'm doing well today, aren't You're I? Doing great. And I still have my sense of humor. Do you when these things happen to you? Okay. Are people calling us? No. Um, Jack, we, we bought Jack a car. And um, Jack is getting his third vehicle because he wrecked the first two. But He, wait, he wrecked the first two early, and he has not had a car for two years. Right. And so 
a friend no, of ours, Kelly and, right. Kelly and Freebird's mother had an extra car. We called it the Nanny Mobile because it had Nanny on the back. And um, we just got a text from them saying, where did Nanny go? Because Jack took Nanny off. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should take her off. He, he was my Uber for two years in That's college, right. which right. worked really well. I didn't have to drive or do anything like that. Okay. Let me see. Is anybody asking any questions? This is not for a prize. So don't say darn. She better won't pick my name again. The little legs on the giraffe. We're not doing right. So I'll just hold it. Okay. So I'm looking now for some questions for here. They're supposed to lead to something that I can be funny with. Uh, oh, yes. It was sung by race car driver Richard Petty. He's from 15 miles from here. I should, oh, wait. Take a goody power and come back stronger. Okay. BC Powder Song. Patrick, did you just make that up? <laughs> no. To my wife. But no. It's fact, I see the time. Scary me out. So you should look in at the end of the hour. Okay. What is good powder? BC powder. They may have got Google theme songs for anything with goody power. I remember BC powder. We watched a lot of the only thing that was on early in the morning when we were getting up was um, song songs like Hillbilly Songs out of Raleigh. You know, the first thing in the morning, we're going to wake you up, these kind of songs. And so what what is a good powder? It's BC powder. This comes in powder form. I remember, hey, Angela Wilson, I remember BC powder. I bet you're over 50. Okay, I would say that most of the people that are raising their hands here to remember BC powder or any kind of goody powder is... So you have 50-year-old children. Yeah, I was 10 years old, you know, 43, 53, I was 10, and we were listening to country music. Okay. Okay, I'll email, this is Mark Palm, and I'll email the photos of us of the Ryman show. Or you were in a rhyme and beauty pageant, Mark? Or Mark, maybe you should just explain this all to me on a privacy. Okay. <laughs> but I remember you guys. Charles Hawkins. Okay. Goody powders are popular in Tennessee. Did y'all hear that? Goody, goody powders are popular in Tennessee. And North Carolina is adjacent to Tennessee. We probably get the same song. I hear they've opened up a big place over there that they have a lot of good countries. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. By the way, I'm at the Ryman Theater with my own show. It's been postponed twice where they had to take everybody off. Tony, what date am I? In? September? September 26. September 26. And I have my own show. If you've ever been to Nashville or if you've never been there, it's a really rocking place as younger people would have. And so get your tickets and then the deal is i uh, i can't speak but most theaters you know if you can't get in or got postponed we, if anybody can decide what to do up there we would they would you ask beforehand if they'll give you your money back what's what's up tony let's give some more prizes 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 you didn't think i was funny enough with the bc powders <laughs> Okay, she's tired of that and she's moving on. <laughs> yeah. I'm having, bet. Um, I'm supposed to eat one meal tonight and you get to where you can't eat anything. So Norma Rose, y'all can come over here and work all the theatrics and all the technicals and all the backups. But Norma Rose is being, bringing me a good meal of my choice when we all get off. Mm -hmm. So course i did say to the doctor today saturdays are never appropriate and um i said they just don't work and then i said to him he really didn't know what to say you have not been watching my shows on saturday and he he had on a mask he didn't know what to say he hadn't heard of my shows so sad he works all the time so, no is it time no not yet we're gonna do the roll of these roll of these 
And I want Patrick to, to do his song. No, I'm not doing a song tonight. I'm on my guitar this Saturday. No, you are not doing a song tonight. You're on your guitar on well, Saturday. It's just on guitar. Saturday. I didn't bring my guitar tonight. Okay. This is, it's so Saturday. We will slowly, if this thing starts rolling, we'll give these out a little slower. I can tell that's the stories. Okay. I'm coming up, coming down here. I think we gave away one. Tanya Land. Leamo, you wrote about Goody's Headache Power, uh, 1992, YouTube by Richard Petty. He's on YouTube with this song. So you have won um, a prize. And Tanya Leano, you simply let Tony know. And y'all, about once a week, we don't get somebody that ever lets us know. Let me know what you want signed for a, a, one of your friends a relative, whatever. Okay, we're back rolling along. Tony at JeannieRobertson.com. Okay, and I'm putting my hand down here. Let it roll around. I do not certainly know the order. And I'm punching in. Patrick, am I on a name? No, I'm on chat. New comments. Okay, I'm doing it again. You tell me if I'm on a name. To your left. Okay, Judy Whitley. Come straight, straight to my left. Loves, hugs, and prayers, Jeannie. May God bless you. Playing as all my procedures go well tomorrow. I appreciate that. Let us know what you want. You're number two in this section. section, And then we're going to give away something else. Okay. Um, Patrick, come in here and watch my the, the list is going up. I did not get near me. I got bad luck. Okay, ready up. Um, no, I, I looked and now and they see that. <laughs> okay, and I'm putting it right down here. What who is it? Carrie Huggins. Okay, it clicked off right now. I was looking for me now. Carrie Huggins, you've got to do the same thing. You have won the choice of everything but the audio video that everybody likes. Okay, this is a pop-up, so we'll go uh, a little bit more with questions. You have not won if you're here. Thank you, um, Tanya, everybody. Thank y'all. But we have found when this wraps up, I've already written a couple of routines when I can tell y'all what's going on because this has been so far a hoot. And I do love working with professionals, and we've got them right here at the Alamance Regional. Hospital, I think it's Cone now. They bought, bought out. I'm not sure. They may be with Alamance Region or Canoda Clinic or whatever. Anyway, so let us know. And we'll do that. Any more questions that I can quickly? Um, oh, Tanya Lambo says, thank you for picking my name quickly. And um, I live between Opelika and Auburn. Uh, Columbus, Georgia. I live in Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> Hope to see you at the Ryman. That'd be great. War Eagle, let me know you're there. We have to have a special Facebook something that we'll get people go up to the table and get. Um, Hope to see me at the Auburn show or the Albany, Georgia show. The Auburn show is in November, so that looks pretty good. And uh, Albany is in December. It's the last show I do and uh, for this year. And so that's good. <laughs> I know this has been co confusing, but I have fun. So we pick up one of our audio versions. We're going to push your book here and mine. Everybody that reads it says nice things. Okay. Patrick, okay, pick up one of your book, your audio books. We'll go on and do that. Everybody is reminding me it's a pop-up. It's not an hour show. <laughs> okay. yeah, we, we oh, oh, Norma Rose was my high school teacher at Western. I thought it was going to say boyfriend because Alan and Norma did not meet at Wake Forest until they were in college. He played football. She cheered him on. Okay, radio. Okay, I'm not going to. All right, here's. Let me just see this one. This is still not for the prize. Thanks for a great show. 
in Omaha. That was the first show after Jerry's death, and it was be a show I will never forget. But we have I have a question about your last name. What was his last name? Charbonneau. Charbonneau. Elizabeth Charbonneau. Was your daddy Joe a professional speaker? She, I loved Joe Charbonneau. I did too. Yeah, I did too. Did a, did the flowers burn up in the middle of his um, funeral? I don't know that that no, 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 no. What happened was they had flowers that got arrived late at Joe Charbonneau's funeral, and that's such an odd last name. And all of a sudden, in the side of the church, the you know, the sanctuary, the side doors flung open, and there were two florist trucks out there <laughs> just to stop the whole funeral. Either they were Joe's or they were late, and then this, everybody just sat there. And they set them right down next to the flaming candles in the front. Oh and so in a little while, and everybody said, now even if this is not your daddy, everybody said, Joe Charbonneau would have loved this funeral. Everybody got up and had to get out for the smoke. If it's not your daddy, when you meet any Charbonneaus and you need a lead to start talking about, so did so just say, did someone in your family's Flowers burn up in the middle of a church, and the and the people delivering the flowers knew they were supposed to bring them in and set them on both sides, and they were on there like you in a church. They went up and came down because they were in a church, and the, then the, before long, the flowers had caught on fire, and they started trying to beat them down. But everybody said it'd be better to leave. Joe would like it this way, which <laughs> and they did. I'm telling you, did you get a, one of our copies of our little book? Is that who's, when's it? The, um, the, our book that we did. Yeah. It's in that lookout there somewhere. Y'all seen it, but it's seven. Why do we not have a copy of that? You get what you pay for. Do y'all all hear me? You get what you pay for. I didn't bring my guitar today because in the blue cabinet outside. I'm not bringing my guitar today because I play. I just play the guitar on Saturday, and apparently, last Saturday he sang a song that really hit y'all. Um, cleats, cleats in the yard, and it brought back so many memories of everybody that y'all kept writing and saying, "Have it again Saturday." So we will, because he didn't bring you today. This is the uh, seven CD thing. It's the most expensive. This is thirty-five dollars is our most expensive item, but there are seven separate CDs in there, and um, it goes seven hours and twenty-six minutes, right? Okay, I'm going to do what I've been doing and let Patrick look at the names. Everybody said this would be quicker than opening up all the uh, talents. So if it's rolling, Patrick, you tell me when to put my finger. Right, go. Go. There it is, Barbara Hughes. Barbara Hughes. Barbara Hughes. Barbara Hughes. Hi. Do you know Barbara Hughes? Not at all. Me either. Good for you. You didn't pull in an Auburn person on me there. Good for you. Okay. And um, yeah. You are. You've talked to Neil, and you are old tomorrow. I sure am. Tell them because people think you're not because you said last week you wouldn't be. Able. He was to be out three weeks for hip surgery, but he's back on. I didn't call him tonight. Maybe I should call him and tell him. But, Lil, if you're listening in any way or any of your other people, I'll I'll be on in the morning. And the, and the only thing could be if, if this doctor called me tonight and said, you have to be here at 8 o'clock for this. We've changed the time. But I don't think that'll happen. Oh, this has been an idea. But I'm telling you all, when you link it all together, it just, it just gets funny. People co coming up to you in the private clinic and saying, are you that lady who's on, on a TV show and a radio show? And I said, and I've lived in this county all my life. Where are you from? <laughs> and so, but met a lot of funny people. Best of all, I've made a lot of not so happy people laugh. So I hope one of those is you tonight. It'll all get back to normal, I promise. Thanks a lot, y'all. Keep laughing. <laughs> She's a heck of a lot of fun, Jeannie Robertson. Oh, 
Oh, she's a heck of a lot of fun, Jeannie Robertson. Yeah.